it's here it's here i'm so incredibly excited it is the minute with mary collagen launch day and if you don't know what collagen is i want you to keep watching if you do know what collagen is i would love to know that in the comments below so please do me a little favor and say hashtag hello lovely right here in those comments that would be super awesome it's your way to kind of give me a little high five over the interwebs um i hope that you're doing great i am so so excited all right i'm gonna get ready but i am gonna talk with you about my brand new liquid collagen. Hi, Allison. How are you? Because it is going to be a game changer for so many people, myself included. I figured I would wear something kind of peachy colored to go along with the packaging. So I'm going to be doing a peachy look as I tell you a bit about this amazing new product at minutewithmary.com. Starting things off with my eye cream. I use this eye cream twice a day. Uh, it has ginseng and caffeine in it. So it's really going to help kind of keep those fine lines at bay and tighten up that skin and help with discoloration. And I'm super pumped to tell you all about the amazing trip that I just went on. So tell me where you're tuning in from. And for fun, tell me what the temperature is, the weather is outside. I love to see where everyone comes in from. It's one of the coolest things, being able to connect over social media. Um, hi, Joey. Uh, hi, Jean. How are you? I'm not wearing my glasses. My glasses are right here. So if I keep like <laughs> getting really close to the screen, you know why I'm blind as a bat. It's all good. I wear contacts a lot on my trip. And honestly, I prefer a lot of the time to wear glasses, particularly if I'm in somewhere that has dry heat and, you know, dry weather and stuff. No matter how many different contact lens brands I have tried, my eyes just always feel a little funky by the end of the day. So... If I'm working, if I have to, you know, have my glasses off, it's fine. If I'm somewhere where I'm going to be wearing sunglasses, I generally choose to wear contact lenses. But it's a problem that myself and a lot of people who have an astigmatism have where just contacts feel funny. So put on that eye cream. It is a must have. I like to just kind of tap it into the skin. You use a super little bit. I mean, this jar looks tiny, but you use so little eye cream underneath each eye that it does last you for quite some time. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Great to see you. Um, so that is one of my must haves. And now I'm going to be putting on a little bit ooh, of mattifying primer. Mattifying primer might sound like it dries up my skin. I just told you I'm right now in a dry environment. I'm back home. Uh, it doesn't dry my skin. I have found that it actually creates a really nice, smooth base. So if you are someone who has texture to your skin, um, you know, like some large pores or just kind of, you know, texture, some bumps, some ridges, things like that, whether it's from scarring or pores or just over time and wrinkles, things like that, mattifying primer might be something you want to try on out. And if you have oil production and or... So I just kind of like put it in my skin and then I kind of press it in my trouble area. So I do have large pores right here. I've got some smile lines right here and I've got a little bit of a texture and wrinkle down here. But that being said, that is why I'm taking collagen. So collagen is a protein that is inside animals. Okay. Like our bodies have collagen, all sorts of animals and fish and all sorts of animals. That's what it is. Like it's a, it's a protein in your body. And it is the protein that really helps uh, with your skin, your hair, your nails. Um, it can sometimes help different types, help with like joints and all kinds of stuff. So it is a animal protein. And the cool thing with collagen is that, well, it's a little sad thing. A sad thing about collagen is that sadly, as you get older, your bodies make less of it. Hi, Doreen, how are you? Your bodies just start to make less of it. So after like the age of 25, it makes less and less. And every single year, your body makes less, which is why your skin starts to sag. You start to get creping and wrinkles in your skin. Your pores get a little bigger. Your hand, does anyone here find that their hands look like old and kind of like wrinkly? It's just because the collagen is coming out of your skin. Your skin is also less hydrated. So one of the things that has kind of become big over the past couple of years is taking collagen um, in some kind of a supplement form. And like our ancestors and our hipsters, shout out to my hipster, hipsters, a lot of people would get collagen from animals, um, from bone broth. You think about that, like we don't have a lot of bone broth places here, but I know like in a lot of the hipster places, they had a lot of bone broth where you'd like simmer the bones down and you'd be drinking it. Essentially, you're having like a collagen drink. Um, so particularly when you're looking towards collagen for 
healing your body, you know, like with joints and things like that, you might be looking more towards bovine cow collagen, uh, cowhide collagen. That's really great for those purposes. And if you're someone who's looking at it for more of a skin and your face and your hair, like if you want thicker hair and better hair growth, um, you want your nails to be stronger and longer. You want your wrinkles to, you know, be able to diminish a bit. You want your skin to be a bit bouncier and hydrated. Then you're looking for what's called type one marine based collagen. Yeah. Marine like fish. <laughs> so not all collagens are equal. Um, and I've learned about a lot about this because since I am turning 40 this year, don't forget, put a hashtag hello lovely down in those comments. Since I'm turning 40 this year, I, um, I had already told myself last year that I was going to start to look into collagen. I have a lot of friends who've started to have different, you know, procedures done with Botox or other different things. And I'm not necessarily at that point. Um, I also have a crazy, crazy fear of needles, which sadly I think I've passed down to my little lass. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, my liquid eyeshadow in the shade reverent it's a champagne shimmer shade i'm going to apply that while i chat a little bit so i this is not reverent good thing i looked with my non-glasses eyes <laughs> that would have turned out silly um there we go so um what I like about collagen is that, you know, people might go and get some work done um, and it might fix that one aspect of their body. But with collagen, it can help with different aspects of your body. It can help with your skin. It can help with your hair. It can help with your nails. It can help in different areas of your skin. Um, so like there's this product where I was like, wow, there's different things that I want you know, kind of to have a little bit less aging showing on my skin. And if this can kind of really help with multiple things, this is something I want to check out. So when I first started, I didn't do a lot of research. And I just grabbed like this powdered collagen that was said to be for beauty. And I'm going to tell you, since then, I have done a ton of research because I didn't like the collagen that I was taking, this powdered collagen that I got over the summer. I was taking it. I didn't really love the taste of it. Um, it didn't blend that easily. And I am someone who is a disaster when it comes to having to blend things in bottles. You know, any of those kind of shakes or powders or anything like that, because you have to mix it in such a big bottle that I don't drink it all in one setting. So then I'm walking around the house or I'm going in my car and I'd be leaving the bottles in different places and poor Blake would have to get after me. You left your bottle somewhere else um, or it wouldn't mix super well. So I did not do well with a powdered collagen. It just wasn't right for me. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to start to look into some other things. So the more I start to look into what other options are there, um, I actually learned that powdered collagens don't absorb into your body that well, that you actually lose like 30% of it. And the another issue with that type of collagen is that what every time you open um, the tub, it gets exposed to oxygen and it actually breaks down all that goodness that people buy. So I realized, yeah, the collagen I had originally bought was cheaper, but it wasn't working well. I didn't like it. It didn't fit my lifestyle and it was only 30% being absorbed into my skin. So I didn't see results. I didn't like it. So then I started to look into um, liquid collagen and the different types, because as I said, there's different types of collagen made from different um, ingredients. So there will be marine based collagen, which mine is, which comes from fish. So mine comes from a white fish in France that is sustainably sourced. So we're not worried about, um, you know, mercury or any of that kind of stuff getting into it. We're not worried about making a big impact on an ecosystem. It's sustainably sourced. And France actually has the highest ratings in regards to marine collagen, the collagen for your hair and skin and nails. So um, I was learning all this stuff about the different types of collagen and how people were taking bovine collagen because it was cheaper when they were looking for more benefits for their for their beauty. And really, it wasn't getting them what they wanted. So I realized, okay, I want liquid collagen. That needs to be this marine-based collagen. And then some of the marine-based collagens taste super gross because we're talking about fish, right? So I will say if you have a fish-fish allergy, this probably isn't the one for you, but I have a shellfish allergy and I have found it to be totally fine for me. So I just wanted to give that heads up in case you're watching and you have a fishy concern. Um, 
So for me, shellfish allergies, I am totally okay taking this. It is a white fish. They haven't disclosed what white fish it is, as that's part of the secret recipe of it all, but it is a white fish sustainably sourced from France, which has the, once again, the highest levels of, um, of this kind of beauty collagen. They're very, very strict with it. Um, so I started to look at different collagens, and as I said, some of them taste really gross. So this one, which I'm really, really pumped about, has been formulated specifically for the beauty needs. Skin, we're talking about uh, wrinkles, we're talking about glow, we're talking about um, working against redness, we're talking about pore size, all that kind of stuff. Hi, Maria, how are you? Thanks for popping in. Um, we're talking about elasticity and bounce. We're talking about discoloration, kind of, you know, working, working backwards in time. We're talking about hair thicker hair, hair growing in, maybe you've lost it over hormones or postpartum or just over life. We're talking about nails being stronger and growing longer. So when you kind of put those things together and you say, okay, I, I'm i ready to, to take care of my, my skin, my hair, my nails. I'm ready to take care of this beauty aspect. And if you start to look into collagen, you're going to realize you want marine-based collagen. You want clean based marine collagen of a high caliber. You don't want it to taste gross. You want it to be liquid so that it can absorb in your body. So our liquid collagen absorbs 90%. And I'm gonna break a couple more things down for you as to why I'm super, super pumped about this. So as I said, this is something that I was starting on my own journey, and I'm just really, really excited to be able to bring you along with it. It has launched today, so there's a bunch of different things that you can be thinking about. Hey, Amanda, how are you doing? Um, when it comes to this collagen, as I said, so you're going to be looking, when you're looking for beauty benefits, you want it to be marine-based. You want it to be liquid based. You don't want it to taste gross. You need to make sure that it is a sustainably store sourced marine. You don't want them just catching random fish out of the sea. You don't want to have to worry about mercury and all that kind of stuff. You want it to be a sustainably sourced, clean sourced uh, marine based product. You do want it to be individually proportioned. So remember when I said when people buy powdered collagens, which also you're just kind of wasting a lot of it because it's powder and it doesn't sink into your body that well. Every time you open that jar, the oxygen gets in and it does break it down. So what's cool is my liquid collagen are these single, single servings. And so as you have it, it's not exposed to the air. It's not exposed to the oxygen. Nothing gets broken down. Doesn't have to be refrigerated. That's another big thing. Maria says, I'm doing good. Loved all of your trip photos. Glad you had such a good time. Made it back safe. I am glad I made it back safe too, Maria. That was scary for like one day. I'm like, <gasps> you know, the day you take the... The, the test and you sit there and you just wait as the fate of your your next week is in God's hands but all came back clear and I was able to come on back um yeah so a lot of liquid collagens that are of a higher caliber have to be refrigerated mine doesn't have to be so what was great is when I went on that trip last week to Punta Cana I just took a few sachets of this put it inside my my bag and I was able to still take it because that's one of the other things just like skincare so I'm actually going to open it right now just like skincare you need to take things regularly so I've been taking this collagen now I think almost 20 days um I am seeing a difference in hydration I have not seen a crazy, crazy difference yet in my big wrinkles, which is something that I'm looking for. I'm looking for this neck wrinkles. I do have some wrinkles down here in my chest as I am a side sleeper and I kind of get that. I do have some crow's feet and other kinds of things. But for collagen to actually start to really make a big difference on your skin, it does take about 30 days. In addition to the collagen, let me start to take some of this. Mm. In addition to the collagen, it tastes so good. Um, there is hyaluronic acid, which is going to help with hydration. Oh my gosh. I'm like, <laughs> I'm salivating because it's so good. Um, it's got like this kind of sweet, fruity, peachy, tart kind of taste to it, which is really, as I said, I don't taste any fish whatsoever. So the hyaluronic acid actually helps once again, it's something that your body naturally makes, but as we get older, we stop making so much of it. So it helps with hydration. So pretty soon after People have been taking this about a week and people are noticing a big difference in hydration. They're seeing a big difference in hydration, particularly in their hands. A lot of people are noticing their hands look less old. Um, they're seeing it in their skin. They're feeling it. Another cool thing about it is it has a lot of vitamin C inside of it. So vitamin C is collagen's best friend. 
they work together. They have this like beautiful symbiotic relationship where both of them can work really well when they're involved in ingredients. So when you're looking at collagen, if it doesn't have these other ingredients inside of it, it's not going to really be doing what you want it to do for your skin because this is formulated particularly for beauty. So hair, skin, nails. So the cool thing with the vitamin C is that's going to be enhancing your glow. That's going to be helping you when it comes to your age spots or if you feel like your skin's been a very, very dull. And it's going to help the collagen really absorb into your skin. Hi, Amy. How you doing? Hey, Leanne. All right. Let me finish this on up. Mm -mm -mm. So it's really easy. It's like a two sips worth of collagen. The consistency, here's how I've described the consistency. And any of my friends who are on who've already tried it, let me know your thoughts. The consistency to me, and Blake had a good laugh when I said this. I said the consistency reminds me of the liquid in a gusher. So that kind of fruit snack that the kids get to have, gushers. It also reminds me the consistency of fake no, real, real maple syrup or fake maple syrup. Is it fake maple syrup that's thinner? No, real maple syrup is thinner. Real maple syrup. Um, but there's no sugar inside of it. So you don't have to worry about... Come here, Lumos. You don't have to worry about, you know, it being um, a sugary kind of thing. So there's great <laughs> ingredients inside of it to really help you, as I said, with all those different aspects of your skin. Um, you can get it in a subscription and save about $17. Uh, if you do decide to sub start a subscription, canceling the subscription is super easy. So if you just wanted to save the money, you can totally do that. I won't tell, but you're probably going to like the results. You're going to be taking it. And what's been really neat is I'm suggesting to people when they order it that they take before and after photos. Because when you look at yourself every single day, it's almost like when my hair grew out. Like all of a sudden, my hair is long. <laughs> Remember I had like a pixie cut? It's kind of like your hair growing. You, when you see yourself every single day, you don't necessarily see the results. But when you see a before and after, that's when it really kind of hits you. There will be other people that notice, you know, their hair just feels thicker. Their nails are stronger. Some things take more time. So nail strength and stuff, that's going to take a little bit more time because you need to wait for those nails to kind of grow out. I'm going to take a little bit on my prime and set spray and use it underneath my eye so that I could start to work on my concealer. This is a great tip for anyone who does have under eye creping or they're having concealer issues. You just take a very little bit of setting spray and you press it into this delicate skin. So remember I had my eye cream that I already used so that really got to sit on in and settle. So the cool thing with this collagen, it tastes great. It's liquid. I don't have to refrigerate it. It's single servings. It actually absorbs into my skin a heck of a lot better than if it was powder. It's marine-based collagen, which is the proper collagen if you're looking for beauty, hair, skin, and nails. And it's of excellent, excellent top-notch quality. So when I was looking at other brands that have similar ingredients and similar standards, so I press it in until it's dry, just so you know this setting spray. Um, when I looked at similar brands with the same standards, with the same ingredients, um, they were a lot more expensive, a lot more expensive. So it is very, very well priced in regards to what you're getting. And I'm really pumped about it because I know it's not for everybody. I know some people, they say, you know, okay, I don't want to take anything. Um, some people are happy just to go and have like work done on one specific aspect or just a couple aspects of their, their body. But to me, when I could find a product that really helped me in regards to the aging that I'm seeing with my body, something that could, um, it has five grams of protein. So I actually take it mid morning as a little kind of mid morning snack. Um, it's, it's just been something that's been really, it's yummy. I don't have to worry about mixing anything or refrigerating anything. To me, it's a win-win. So it's something that I'm investing in myself. And there's been a few people who've reached out to me saying that they want to try it out too. So it does launch today. I'm really, really pumped about it. Um, and I'm excited to share with you my personal results. I've been able to share with you the results from my friends. Um, there's a bunch of men who are using it because obviously it's not just for makeup wearers. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people who haven't been wearing makeup makeup over the past couple of years or just have never worn makeup. And this is a great product for even them, you know, like who doesn't want to have glowy, bouncy, younger looking skin. So I'm just really, really pumped. All right. I'm going to take some concealer and I will tell you more about the amazing trip that I went on. So this is this technique that I wanted to tell you about. So I use setting spray here. I tapped it in. I'm just going to take a little bit of this concealer right there and then right here. 
And then you can either take your finger or you can take a little damp blending bud. Um, I even like to spray it a little bit with some more of that setting spray just to make sure it has the hold. And then I'm going to gently kind of just press it and bring it down. I bring it down along the side of my nose a smidge because that's kind of where my discoloration is. Most of my discoloration is right here. And a lot of people have creping issues. The concealer just kind of creeps on up and settles right around here where the fine lines really start to start to pick on up. So most people's discoloration is in this inner eye corner. So that's where you first put the product. And then we're just going to tap and gently press and then bring it over. So there's less product over here. Less product is better when it comes to your skin in general, but particularly underneath your eyes. Do, do, do. So as I said, let me know where you're tuning in from. Put a little hashtag, hello lovely, up for me if you want it mine. And now this area right here, same thing. I'm just going to kind of pat and bring it up. What this is going to do is give a lift to my face. So it almost, once again, we're talking like anti-aging. It gives that kind of um, visual lift to bring everything up a smidge. But who doesn't want that, right? Defy gravity. Be like Elphaba. <laughs> and I personally have a couple of age spots over here. So I just kind of bring that over. And when you use a concealer underneath your eyes, um, you typically want to use, if you have physical bags, like, you know, the physical puffiness, you might want to use a concealer that's the same shade as your foundation or just one shade lighter. If you have physical bags, you don't necessarily want to be highlighting the problem. If it's more of a discoloration or if you're someone who really likes the highlighted look, then you can go a few steps lighter. So there we go. I, I probably could have used a shade darker as I seem to have gotten color on my trip. Who would have thought that I would have gotten color from my trip, right? So this isn't usually this light on me um, this time of year, but I got a little bit of sunshine. So, um, hi, thanks, Anne. How are you? Thank you, thank you. So yeah, the trip was absolutely outstanding. I loved it. So once again, I'm putting a little bit of the concealer there and then I'll put a little bit here for lift. I already put some setting spray underneath my eyes. I tapped it in. I'm taking that blending bud, a little bit of setting spray on it, or you could use your finger. Let me know how your day is going, Ms. Anne. Good to see you. Um, the trip was just so great. It was so relaxing. I met a lot of new friends and I was honestly a bit nervous to go uh, for several reasons. I didn't want to get stuck there because had I tested positive, on Thursday, everyone coming into the US has to take a test um, to prove that they don't have the panorama, which is that's what I call it. Um, had I been positive, I would have had to stay in the resort for at least five days. And I wouldn't get to stay in my super special room. They would have still moved me somewhere nice but not as nice as what I had. And then you wouldn't be able to go out and see people, obviously, who've been quarantined and you would have gotten room service. I would have gotten room service, so it would have been fine, but it would have been very lonely. So I was nervous about that aspect because at least if you had a roommate or a partner there, you kind of get quarantined together, so you're not alone. Um, but the other thing too is that um, I went alone. My plus one, she did get sick before we left. So, um, you know, I was just kind of, I was a little nervous about how it was going to go and who I was going to talk to the whole time. It was a different country, all these kind of things. But in actuality, it ended up being really, really relaxing. I haven't traveled by myself and gone on like a vacation by myself since before I, I was married. Um, the last time I honestly traveled by myself for a long period of time, not just, you know, meeting with friends and staying in a room with friends, uh, was when I went to Bali. And I went to Bali for essentially the summer and it was awesome. It was so, so good, but it's been a long time since then, right? And I have different <laughs> uh, different things that go on in my life that I worry about, like, oh no, what would happen to my kids if this happened or that happened? Um, but it all was perfect. The trip was amazing and I just had such a beautiful time. So I blended in that concealer. I'm gonna go in now with some foundation. I'm just gonna shake it up. It's my Serum Plus foundation. I'm gonna use a very little bit. My skin has been really nicely hydrated since I've been taking that collagen now for about 20 days. Um, so really I'm trying to let a lot of my skin shine through as much as possible. So yeah, so I, um, I ended up kind of being forced to talk to other people or just to observe other people. I didn't have to talk to people. I should rework that. 
I'm an extroverted person, so I like to talk to other people. And it was just a neat experience to go and not necessarily have a partner or a friend who I was rooming with, and I was only responsible for myself. So I could go on the beach and look at someone's sandcastle competition, or I could just go watch a volleyball game, or I could go eat when I wanted to. And it was really neat once I kind of got used to that, you know, that there wasn't someone who I had to run it by. There wasn't someone else who I had to check in with uh, or that I had to worry about. You know, when you're when you're with somebody else, you want to make sure that you're considerate of them, that they're not hungry, that they're not too hot. You know, all these things that listen to me. I like I'm such a mom. I'm like, are you too hot? Do you need a snack? But you know what I mean? Like, it's not just about you. But this trip was just about me. And I did meet up with my friends and I did meet tons of other new people. And it was so great, but it was on my schedule. So that was really neat as it hasn't been something that I've been able to do, particularly since I've been a mom. But then even before that, you know, since I've been with Blake, like I would always travel with Blake. All right. So I haven't worn this foundation all week, so I'm giving it a good shake. This foundation is foundation plus skincare. Um, so you do want to shake it up well as you want to make sure that the serum is mixed up into it. Make sure that the pipette um, is, you know, pulling up new product. And then you should be good to go. Some people just drop it right on their face. I am not that coordinated, so I don't. I drop it on the back of my hand and then I dip my brush in it. I prefer to do that. There's some people that drip it right onto their Kabuki brush. I don't like that because I find that product seeps in. Um, so I'm someone I prefer it on to put on the back of my hand, kind of pounce the brush on it so it fully covers all the brush, not just one concentrated spot. And then I blend from there. So you start in the center of your face and then you blend out. This allows you to use a heck of a lot less foundation and it's gonna cover the areas of most concern because usually a lot of your discoloration is around that center part of your face. So yeah, it was just a really, really relaxing, beautiful trip. I did have the, the only difficult, there were two difficult things. So the first one you may have seen that I was on a first floor balcony and my jacuzzi tub was outside. And my first fuller balcony was the only balcony that didn't have brush cover. <laughs> like anyone just walking by could say hello to me. Um, so that I didn't love, but I only used the jacuzzi tub a couple of times. And I always did it when I was wearing a bathing suit. So I wasn't like doing anything shady, but it just was a little bit weird. Um, the other tough thing was when I was trying to check out... It just got very chaotic. Um, it was a big checkout time for a lot of people. It was a massively huge resort. And um, when I checked in, it was quiet. But when I checked out, everybody was checking out. And they were trying to charge me for something that I didn't do. They were trying to charge me for a transportation service that I didn't use. And um, it was funny because I think about it in hindsight, if Blake had been there and had it taken that long with him, he would have been like, whatever, just pay them and let's get out of here. But I was so adamant that I didn't use their transportation company that I wasn't going to pay. It was like $100. So I just kind of stuck it out. And then I ended up telling the guy, you know, you're taking so long. This is going to make me miss my flight. And um, so I wasn't happy about that. Wasn't happy about that. But I ended up getting it worked out. So I get to the airport. Everything's fine. We get on our first flight from Punta Cana to Philly and you have to go through customs and you have to go get your bag and then go back through security and get another flight to Rhode Island. At which point um, I was seated in the very back of the, of the plane, which is totally fine. Um, I was seated next to a refugee. And this was the first time that that has ever happened to me. Honestly, I think it's the first time that I ever noticed a refugee was on the plane, nonetheless sitting next to one. And I, um, I didn't want to be offensive. I didn't want to talk too much because once again, I talk a lot and like this person didn't even know English. Um, but it was really a neat thing. Um, so he had, he had clean clothes. Um, but they were like a little big on him and he was probably in his late forties, maybe early fifties. And he had this lanyard around his neck with a big um, piece of paper, a big card that had all of his information, like saying 
you know, this is my name. This is where I'm from. This is where I'm going to. I don't speak English. You know, I'm with this organization um, because like in case that person kind of gets lost, like they need the airport attendees and other people to kind of help them out. And um, yeah, so it was funny. So as I'm walking back to the end of the end of the plane, I see this guy and <laughs> He didn't have his mask on, right? So he had a big beard and then he had his mask like under his beard, under his nose and like kind of squished up with his beard. And at first I wanted to be like, buddy, I'm like, what's going on here? And then I realized he had his little ticket on him. And I also don't want to be like telling a random person to fix their mask. I was offering, I was thinking like, maybe I should offer to help him and so he understands. But then I thought, this isn't my job. Blake would tell me don't talk to strangers. Um, so I sat down. And he, um, yeah, he tried to motion something to ask me if I wanted to move my bag somewhere and I was all set. And then he had his phone out and he started to take pictures. And I got a little like weirded out at one point because he started, come here Lumos. He started to take a picture. Come here Lumos, come here, come here. She got into my Christmas wrapping, come here kitty. Um, he started to take a picture and he's sitting right next to me and this is a very close plane. And so I can see what he's doing. He's taking a picture of half of his face and half of my face. What? So here he was being like, Oh, I'm going to be so nice to this guy. And, all. and then, then I got weirded out. I just got like, why is he taking half a picture of me? And he was like moving his phone around. So he would definitely be getting a little bit of me. So I just kept thinking, Mary, don't act up. Don't say anything. Like it's totally fine. Hi, Ashley. How are you? Um, and when I, uh, got home and I told my mom this story, she was probably, she was saying she's, he was probably like, look at all these people. Like she's so colorful because I had like loads of color on. Um, I was, I was, I had like, I had my little like red neck rest thing. I had my headphones. I mean, when I'm on a plane, I go all out. I've got all the accessories. I, so I've got the big, like sound canceling headphones, the big red thing. He must've thought I looked half like a clown. <laughs> because of everything I had on me. Um, but it was just a really, so that weirded me out, but then he, he was totally fine. And he was watching out the window. It took us a while to take off. He was watching out the window the entire time. And I realized this was probably his first time like flying out of anywhere, you know? Um, I mean, who knows, or who knows what's going through his mind, you know, being able to be safe and leave Afghanistan. So it was just a really uh, interesting experience. He had this special bag with him. It was a white bag and it said IOM. I forget what it stands for, but it's something that means that this is a refugee. Um, and they put like their belongings in it. There are special papers and stuff. And that's all he had really with them. Um, and when we got off the plane, two people um, from probably a refugee organization like met him and um, it was just it was really just interesting and so when I came home I started to google a little bit more about the refugees that are being brought here to Rhode Island right now and um, it's just it's just a really neat thing there was this one family that was brought back within the last month um, and the gentleman was an interpreter for the US military. So it's just, I don't know, it's just neat. That wasn't my guy, he, he was much younger, but it just made me wonder, like this guy gets to start his new life when he was on his phone, when he wasn't taking pictures of me, he was scrolling through it and there were just different pictures of like family and little kids. And, um, you know, I was just getting, my heart was all warm because I was thinking like, maybe he's being brought here. Like maybe his family is already here. So it's just neat, but. I'd love to know if any of you have ever sat next to a refugee on a plane because that was a first for me. Um, yeah, I just, I didn't know like, what's this lanyard? And I'm such a, I'm such a nosy Nelly slash extra, uh, extrovert that I wanted to ask. And then I realized it said like, I don't speak English and this is what's going on. So very, very neat experience. Um, aside from having my photo taken a couple of times. Didn't like that part, but aside from that it was okay. Right, I'm gonna take a little bit of this peachy uh, blush. This is in the shade Supple to kind of go along with the peach theme that we have as I'm trying to match the colors of my new collagen. Hi, Ashley, how you doing? Just put a little bit here. This is a great blush for those of you with warm undertones. So warm undertones are typically people who tan, you lucky ducks, so just like tan right away. Um, it's also great for those of you who have neutral undertones. So I'm a neutral undertone person. Um, that means that you burn then tan. And when I say I burn then tan, I mean, I burn and then I get 
slightly less clear. <laughs> so, so even if you're like me, if your skin goes from like very, like very, very light and then slightly light, you might be neutral toned. So don't, don't count yourself short. The cool thing with neutral tones um, is that you can wear cool tone and warm toned makeup. You can wear cool tone and warm toned clothes. It's kind of the lucky unicorn when you have neutral undertones. And then cool toned people just burn. They just burn. They've got a lot of pink in their skin and in their bodies and they burn. So if you don't know what undertone you are, send me a message so I can help kind of color match you. But I like this shade. I don't know. It's got, it's just got some little warm vibes to it. So I'm digging it. Absolutely digging it. All right. Let's finish things up so I can stop yapping, not yapping all this time. But I just thought it was such a neat kind of travel experience to go by myself, to go to a different country, then to meet up with some friends. Um, my company absolutely spoiled us. So the only other incentive trip that I've gone on before, an incentive trip means I earned it through my company. They gave this timeline where they said, okay, this is the trip. It's an all-inclusive X, Y, Z. And here's the amount of points you need to earn, whether it's through, um, you know, different tasks. And so anyone in my company can earn it. And five of my teammates, so six, including me, five of my teammates earned it, which was super, super neat. And I was so proud. Um, because this was a hard year to do it. This was a very, very challenging year to do it. So this incentive trip, there were a lot less people. It was a lot harder to earn and a lot of people couldn't travel for all the different reasons. So they, they kind of spoiled us extra. They had a dinner for us on the closing night and it was a beautiful outdoor dinner. We were all dressed in white, really just kind of celebrate this, this beginning new year. And I felt very safe because it was outdoors. Um, they had beach games for us and they they just really went all out they gave us a lot of different little swag and um you know like extra little makeup like highlighters and stuff to get our glow on at the beach so it's just really nice to kind of be spoiled spoiled rotten on a tropical resort i mean who wouldn't like that right so the previous incentive trip that i went on was right in 2020 right before everything <laughs> everything went wild. Um, and I took my family on a cruise. So we had enough people earn the trip that the entire cruise, a whole Royal Caribbean cruise was all for my company. Isn't that wild? And we were allowed to bring our kids if we wanted to. So I brought um, both Reese and City and Blake, and we all went on this cruise. It left from uh, Miami, and then it went all the way to the Bahamas. So my kids, like, that's the only perception they have is, like, Florida, New Jersey, and the Bahamas. They haven't really gone east, and they've gone up to New Hampshire in Maine. So my kids know the east coast. They'll, they'll go somewhere else at some point when they can. Um, but it was just so neat because it was the same thing. The whole ship at that point was decorated uh, with, with our stuff, and it's just neat to be around people who you see virtually. You know, it's one, one thing that is difficult. I'm going to take my 4D mascara. One thing that is difficult is that this is all virtual. You know, I go live right here on social media and I connect with you all, which is why I'm always like, tell me where you're from. Tell me where your weather is because I really want to know. You know, I don't have necessarily co-workers to chat around the water cooler with. Um, and I'm thankful because it has allowed me so much flexibility at this stage of my life. I'm thankful because it's allowed me to be creative and meet people from all over. But it is a little sad when you never get to meet people in real life, which I feel like a lot of us understand right now. Um, but it was neat on these trips to meet someone and not just see their face with a circle around it from Facebook. You're like, oh my gosh, that's what the rest of you looks like. Um, it was just really neat. So it's really funny when you do meet people for the first time after just knowing them from Zoom calls or social media and to see their height. That was one of the things people were like, oh, you really are tall. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And I like to wear heels when it's a fancy thing. So <laughs> I get super tall, super duper tall. All right. So I'm just putting a little bit of mascara on these top lashes. Nothing too crazy. Keeping this kind of simple look. Hi, Margarita. How are you? Great to see you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. And then I'm going to do a simple little lip. I'm just going to do a little bit of lip gloss to kind of keep this peachy theme that I have going on. Taking a little setting spray. Lock it all in. 
When you use setting spray, you might freak out for the first time because your face is suddenly wet and you're gonna shake your fist and say, why did I listen to Mary Larson? I promise it dries and you look perfect after, but it really locks your makeup in place. If you're someone who does have fine lines, when you have that setting spray on, you can take that little blending bud and kind of pounce where those fine lines are. I find that this locks the makeup in place even more so you don't have to worry about those fine lines getting all kind of creasy so fun little tip all right let's finish this off and i'm going to let you go because i got a busy day today taking a little bit of this lip gloss this is a gorgeous just nude shade with a bit of a peach undertone it is called Lux, and i love it because it gives that shine so obviously if you have to wear a mask you're not going to be looking for something glossy glossy means it's going to make a mess <laughs> matte you're going to have better luck with but if you are home you don't have to worry about a mask or if in, you know you're going wherever you are you don't have to worry about it when you wear something that has a bit of a gloss to it this little shine it actually tricks the eye and it makes it look like your lips are fuller than they really are so fun little fact for you if you feel that your lips are small or they've gotten smaller over time you might want to throw on a little bit of a gloss well i hope that you have a great day thank you so much for keeping me company today for letting me fill you in on the trip for letting me tell you all about this amazing liquid collagen that just launched today if you want to check it out it's at minutewithmary.com uh, there's a couple of different options you can get the 30-day supply right away you can subscribe um, and then that way you're going to save about $17 and you can cancel the subscription at any time, or you can just get a 15 box. I will tell you, you will see results, uh, better if you're using it every single day instead of every other day. Um, but I'm really, really excited about this. Great. If you're looking for healthier and younger looking skin and thicker hair and stronger nails, it's awesome. And I'm really, really pumped to be able to bring it to you. All right. I will talk with you soon. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching this minute with Mary. Bye.